Hello everyone, welcome to the Cuphead Experience, where I'll be summarizing my time in Cuphead. So let's begin. The game starts with the story of Cuphead and Mugman being tricked by the devil. So in order to repay their debt, they have to hunt other people who also have debt towards the devil. And with that, Cuphead and Mugman set on a journey. Around the starting area, a good apple person gave me three coins. Here, you'll see me having a hard time adjusting to new controls. I managed to go through the run and gun section with a sliver of health, fighting my first bosses, which are basically root crops, potato, onion, carrot, and a radish. It wasn't that hard of a fight. I proceed to the next fight with a slime. It wasn't that hard also, just a slime with a giant boxing glove for some reason. Next, we have a frog duo which shoots out fireflies, shoots energy balls, and turns into a slot machine. A very weird enemy. I guess that's just the beginning. Every boss I'll face from now will be the same. We've got our first aerial fight. This boss? I don't really know what to call it. I guess constellations that turn into a giant moon at the end? It's just so random. But it wasn't that hard of a fight. Now, another run and gun, where I basically start to hate myself. I almost did it on the first try, but it spiraled downwards from there. I hate these platformer sections, just very hard and not that enjoyable compared to boss fights. Then Miss Chalice proceeds to get stuck in a jar, so we go parry multiple ghosts to save her, fighting a giant sunflower. I had a hard time due to my stupidity. Proceeding to the next area, Elder Kettle tells Cuphead and Mugman a way out of their situation. First boss fight for the second area, a candy person with a lot of sweets on her side. It was easy, only needed one try. Next, we have to fight a genie in an aerial battle with a lot of magic tricks up his sleeves. I managed to get to first try this enemy as well. Now we arrive at one of my most painful fights, a clown that inflates balloon dogs, which has a roller coaster constantly going through the screen, a donkey that shoots horseshoes. The clown also becomes a ride of some sort at its last phase. That shoots penguins which shoots baseballs. And I suffered through that for quite a while. My first real hurdle in this game. We have another run and gun. Almost finished it second time. But overall, one of the easier run and gun sections in the game. But still very annoying. We've got to help Miss Chalice again. Then I proceeded to try another run and gun. Why do I make myself suffer? Basically, I died to condiments that were shot by a hot dog. Fighting a bird wearing a birdhouse that shoots eggs and has fingers that shoots bullets. It then proceeds to throw a fit and release a lot of feathers. It then ejects the giant bird and explodes, exposing a small bird that shoots a type of laser ball. After being defeated, the giant bird comes back, but this time it's severely injured and spits out trash. Then cannibalism happens. Now we have a semi-aerial fight where we play as normal cuphead but are fighting a dragon above the clouds. The dragon is not that hard except for the fire bubbles at the end which spreads out into four if shot. King Dice thinks something is fishy about cuphead and mugman. We are now on the third area of Inkwell Isle. I proceed to fight a queen bee which has a tired worker bee and a guard bee. Oi 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 which shoots out grenades. The queen bee then uses magic to try and kill me. Its head becomes like a maze and shoots out bullet bills from Mario. And for its last phase, becomes an airplane which has saw blade arms and shoots out flying fists. This fight was not that hard, but was very weird. Next, we have Monkey D. Luffy. I mean, just a generic pirate. The fight was also pretty simple. The coolest thing about this fight is that the boat shoots out a Kamehameha, which you can parry. Then I went to another run and gun to destroy my sanity, dying to many random things at the octopus part. It was a soul wrecking experience is all I can say. Going to save Miss Chalice for the third time. She never learns. Fighting a discount Tom and Jerry, the mouse gets eaten by the cat. The plot twist is that the cat was a robot all along and the mouse was controlling it from the inside. One of the easier boss fights, only dying once. Where it was followed by the most painful experience I've had in a run and gun stage. Combination of pickaxe throwers, 
in a horrible platforming section. I spent almost an hour fighting for my life, constantly making the same mistake at the end. It made me rethink my life's choices leading to this point. Now, I proceeded to fight the Iron Giant. The hardest part of this fight is probably the beginning because it throws a lot of things. It becomes easier at the end as it's just a simple pattern for dodging. Next, we had a stage play. There were a lot of props that are meant to kill you, so dodging was pretty intense. But overall, it wasn't that hard thanks to the combination of my different equipment. Then we go on a fight with a Gorgon and Mermaid Hybrid. Managed to defeat it on my first try. Good thing I didn't have to fight it multiple times and go through a painful experience. After that fight was a train with multiple personalities, a ghost that shoots eyeballs, a skeleton which can rearrange itself despite being very big for a train, two snake-like creatures which shoot lightning, and the train itself which spews out fireballs. I now have to fight King Dives with the mini bosses being somewhat easy and not that hard. The real challenge for me was the power check at the main boss fight with King Dice. I just couldn't get the positioning and timing right, so I had to keep fighting and restarting just to defeat King Dice at the end. One of the most annoying fights to do. After defeating King Dice, we now have the main boss, the mastermind of this whole situation, the devil. After making me cry, after making me go through a horrible time, I've managed to make the devil cry itself and surrender. Thanks to the efforts of Cuphead and Mugman, Inkwell Isle becomes free of death from the devil. The delicious last course. Miss Charles shows us her newly found switch body cookie, where she switches body with one of the twins temporarily. Chef Salt Baker then tells us that the Wonder Tart will give Miss Charles a permanent body. Tried Miss Charles, they like her kit. First boss of this place. Spider and Bugs, Saxophone and Dodging Bug, Giant Ad Eater that shoots out dust balls. This fight was a little hard. Oh wait, that wasn't the real knockout. A sneaky snail. Cow Cow Girl. There are a lot of things happening on my screen. A bird that drops dynamite that multiplies. The cow shooting ink shots that ricochet. And a bird that spits out cactus. Next is a vacuum which sucks money and throws it out. Then the cow becomes a sausage, and the sausage tentacle comes to its aid. And finally, it becomes a kind of sausage with long sausage lines. Pretty weird and somewhat difficult. Dog soldiers that seem like they have the cat from earlier. This one was a little mind-boggling because it turns your characters around and the controls don't change. Overall, it was pretty easy and didn't take that long. Next was an ice wizard that becomes a snowman that becomes a fridge which spews out ice that multiplies. The snowman was very fast moving and it combos its moves. For its last phase, it becomes a snowflake that has laser eyes that detach. Cool! No pun intended. Or is there? We've got no way out. So, gnomes. Making a poisonous stew of some kind. Puppet hands that play with each other. Controlled by the giant gnome. That's sad. It eats us. Now fighting in its stomach acid. Very acidic. Yeah, I got nothing I could think of. Now we're approaching one of the most painful sections in this DLC. Basically a pirate test. First, we have the pawns. Where they come at you at the same time and basically don't give you time to recover. Pretty hard, but not the hardest out of all the challenges. Second, the knight. At first, I thought this would be hard, but after learning the patterns, it was actually just simple, but takes a bit of time. Third, the bishop. This one was actually pretty chill. It was quite hard, but it was a fun fight. Probably the best one out of all the pirate challenges. Fourth, the rook. I hated this fight very much. It's just very much a random throwing of things. It was just very annoying. My most hated pirate challenge. Last, the queen. This one was okay. It wasn't that easy, but it wasn't that hard either. I just hate the spammy nature of her jewel throwing move. But after defeating her, I've cleared the king's challenge. Then after completing all the ingredients to complete the wonder tart, we go to Chef Salt Baker. However, after going to him, it seems like 
He has betrayed us and will use Miss Chalice as a sacrifice for the Wonder Tart. That's why we proceed to fight. This fight was kind of hard. Well, of course, it's the last boss. I probably struggled the most with the Lime Attack as sometimes everything just lines up and I have no way of dodging. Then, I shoot Salt Shakers which launch themselves to Chef Salt Baker. For the third phase, I don't know how to describe it, a spinning salt figure with a pizza cutter on the ground. Then for the last phase, Chef Salt Baker's heart goes out and two salt pillars are at the side. By parrying the heart and my mediocre parkour skills, I've managed to defeat Chef Salt Baker. And for the last time, we saved Miss Chalice again. But sadly, she didn't get the physical form she wanted. But at least she had Cuphead and Mugman as friends. But actually, that wasn't the end. There's still a secret boss. By interacting with the gravestones in a certain randomized order, we have to fight the demon and angel. They both look like the devil, but I guess they are different. This fight is very interesting and focuses more on facing left and right rather than actually moving much. It was a pretty fun and easy fight. With that, all the bosses and stages in this game are defeated. And I can say that I've defeated Cophead. I guess that's it for now. See you again next time. Goodbye.